Life short, smoke a port, auto port, auto port. In New York, calculating at the door. Kill Bill, track supreme shorts. Life short. What's up, Half Gang? We are back with another video, and a lot of you guys have been wanting me to kind of show you how to record in FL Studio because a lot of you guys are new to this software, and I understand. And I'm going to basically teach you how to set up your recording and how to eliminate as much white noise as possible and also um how to not hear yourself when you're recording because a lot of you guys seem to be having a problem with that too and excuse me if i sound a little dead i just woke up thanksgiving put me in a heavy ass food coma and i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving as well um one of my favorite holidays of the year so anyways as you can see we are in fl studio right now um First thing we want to do before we get into this program, for those of you guys that have microphones that pick up a lot of loud audio, which I assume is the ones that are asking about how to get rid of the white noise. So if your microphone level is at a perfect um, noise leveling, you don't have to worry about this step. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go into your sound settings um, and then under your microphone, um, which mine is the BC Master. 1610 um, you're gonna go ahead and click device properties over here and this is gonna open up and what you want to do is you want to go to levels and I like to turn down my microphone level to about 80 um, so it still picks up a good amount of my voice but it also um, limits the background noise too so I think 80 is a good level for this microphone right here so I'm gonna Go ahead and press OK. Then you're basically done with device properties. So now what to do in FL Studio. So what first thing you want to do is you want to go into your options up here in the left corner and go into audio settings. Now I have my um, device set to FL Studio um, ASIO, which is what you're going to want to do too because it's going to bring up this buffer length um, ASIO panel. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. So I have my input set to the BC Master 1610, which means whatever I record with my voice, I'm go it's going to be from my main microphone here. So you're going to want to get that set up. And these buffer lengths basically are um, the delay in which you hear yourself when you're recording. So if you're recording and you hear yourself in your headphones, that's going to be the delay amount. So... Um, my recommendation you probably don't want that on the only time i ever hear myself is when i need to make sure that my microphone is working so we'll get into that so that's basically how you input your microphone to record an fl studio um so now we're gonna go ahead and close that and now you're gonna want to go to this this um mixer tab right here this is how you open up the mixer in fl studio so go ahead drag it open it up and this is where all the magic is going to happen, guys. Um, this is where you're going to channel your um, vocals in and then do all the mixing effects. So basically, I like to go into the very first insert and use this as my recording channel um, just to get the bare vocals. And then after I use it to record everything, I'll channel those vocals into a different one and then apply the effects. So my very first um, channel will not have any effects in it. So basically, how do you get it so that you um, could hear yourself and get that microphone set up? So you're going to want to go up to this um, insert over here where it says none. Click it. And I always put mine to input one right here. And hold on. Let me put this going through my headphones because it was going through my speakers. But when you get to this point, I don't know if you could tell in the video or not you could hear yourself like i could right now i could hear myself through my headphones and it is very very distracting so to get rid of hearing yourself there's a very simple way to do it all you gotta do half gang is go to this knob right here and just click it and it's gone it's gone you do not hear yourself anymore so for those of you guys that were wondering how do you not hear yourself in the headphones when you're rapping or you're singing? It's as simple as that. We'll click it again. I, I can, can hear, hear myself, myself again. again. Click, click it off. off. It's gone. So now that I have 
um, my microphone setup, and as you guys can tell, it's working because you hear, you see the audio levels going up and down here. Um, we're basically good to record. So I'm not gonna sing a song for you guys today, but I'm basically just gonna um, record right here. Make sure that this pattern is not set. You're gonna want to go below and press song right there, so you can record. And then I'll just press this record button, and you'll hear a couple ticks, audio into the playlist. What's up, Half Gang? My name is Young Halfington. I do not know what to say, but this is what we're going with right here. Okay, and then as you can see, What's press up, play. Half Gang? My name is Young Halfington. I do not know what to say, but this is what we're going with right here. Okay, and before I show you guys how to channel everything, if you guys want to make this larger or smaller, all you, all you got to do is um, right-click this little scroll thing right here and then go up and down with your mouse just move your mouse up and down and it'll expand or shrink depending on what you're doing so now that we have that um to channel this vocal track into the mixer channels all you have to do is left click it once as you can see it's clicked right here just left click open up your mixer again and then i like to skip from one to three just so i could give myself a space so i don't get confused um, I have channel 3 selected right here, then I'm going to right click it and just route. Route select the channel to this track. And then we're going to go ahead and press play and you'll see that the audio is going to be coming through here. What's up, Half Gang? My name is Young Halfington. I do not know what to say, but this is what we're going with right here. And that's exactly what you want. So, and if you need to, um, if you need to like name this channel so that you don't get confused you could just do half gang as you can see it changed the hacking so example if you're doing a song and you want to um, if you want it to be known as the chorus go ahead and change the label to chorus and you won't get confused you know um, but anyways yeah for that basically to add effects you're gonna want to go here and these are all the effects you could choose from. You got the delay right here. You got the fruity chorus. You got the sound good eyes. They're all the good stuff, the EQ. And it just channels it. But I have um, my auto tunes not set into this main um, section over here. So I go to more plugins. And I'll just scroll all the way down and find my auto tune. And we'll just do C major. And turn it all the way up, and we'll see how awful this sounds with auto tune. What's up, Half Gang? My name is Young Halfington. I do not know what to say, but this is what we're going with right here. And there, as you can see, I channeled it into the um, Half Gang mixer over there. I had the auto tune, and you could add up to 10 effects all you want. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, it's really not more complicated than that. And um, hold on, sorry, I got a text message. But I want to show you guys also something else. Gonna double click. If you double left click the vocal track, you could have this thing up here. And um, basically, if you want to normalize your vocals, you could press normalize. As you can see, it got louder. Um, we could also change the pitch by going to this knob right here and raising it all the way up. And you guys could hear this right now. What's up? And as you can see, it changed the pitch. So um, I forgot to show you guys that in the Denzel Curry tutorial, but I put it in a pinned comment. Hopefully you guys um, saw it and it helped you out if you guys were trying to do a pitch thing. And yeah, guys, that's basically a simple recording guide in FL Studio. It's not that complicated. I know that a lot of you guys... Um, didn't know because you never used this software before and it is fl studio does look like a very intimidating and complicated program to use but once you get it down it is so fast guys like it's such an easy program to use in my opinion it doesn't really take me long to mix songs in this software at all and then once you want to um export your track you just go to file export and i highly recommend doing wave and then, you know, you just name it, save, and then export. But yeah, Half Gang, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out get a better understanding of FL Studio. Um, I probably should have released this before I did my tutorials because a lot of you guys were confused, and I'm sorry about that. 
But yeah, hopefully this one helped you out and it answered a lot of your guys' questions down in the comment section. Um, but yeah, that's going to be basically it for the video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know who you guys want to see in these upcoming tutorials. And yeah, it's been your boy Young Hampton. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.